We know that our bodies are complex on the surface, but do you know that there's a hidden universe full with life inside it? There are vibrant colonies of bacteria, viruses, fungus and other microbes that live inside of us. And they are microbiomes. Our understanding of microbiomes has evolved in recent years. We have come to realize that each of us have a unique ecosystem of microorganisms within our bodies. It might sound unbelievable, but they are as unique to an individual as their fingerprint. Are we more microbial than human? The human microbiome contains 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells. And the variety of bacterial genes is 100 times more than that of human genes. From the skin to the gut, from the mouth to the reproductive organs, every niche in our body hosts its own microbial community. These microbiomes in different places in the body were correlated. Even though different types of bacteria are present when the microbiome of one body area changes, the other also shifts. For example, if the nasal bacteria change due to a respiratory infection, the gut, mouth and skin microbes quickly start to change as well. When the gut bacteria shift with diabetes, so do the bacteria on the skin, mouth and nose. It tells us that there is not a gold standard microbiome everyone should be trying to achieve for optimal health. Instead, we have a personal microbiome that is incredibly important for our own metabolic and immune health. A new study has shown that researchers have found that common preservatives used in food have unexpected effects on the gut microbiome. A common preservative used to kill pathogens in food revealed that it also has an impact on beneficial bacteria, threatening the healthy balance of the gut microbiome. Food manufacturers often add preservatives to food products to keep them fresh. The primary purpose of these preservatives is to kill microbes that could break down and otherwise spoil the food. Not just this, but more and more research is revealing that the gut microbiome can influence the brain and behavior across a variety of different animals. Microbiome supports the body's immune system and produce chemicals that affect brain function. When it gets out of balance, the gut microbiome can contribute to disease. Does it sound strange? The idea that microbes living in the gut can affect what happens in the brain may seem a bit surprising. Let me tell you how. The research shows that the brain and the gut microbiome are connected through the gut-brain axis, which is an intricate network of neurons, proteins and chemicals that relay messages between the digestive system and the brain. Factors such as aging, diet and environmental exposures may alter the gut-brain axis and which gut microbes may benefit or harm the brain. Science still has a way to go before we'll know if specific dietary changes can alter the gut microbiome and modify its influence on the brain in the right ways. But what's exciting about this finding is it raises the possibility that doctors one day could test a patient's stool sample to determine if what's present from their gut microbiome correlates with greater early risk of Alzheimer's dementia. Such a test would help doctors detect Alzheimer's earlier and intervene sooner to slow or ideally even halt its advance. And that's how in the previous studies, links between gut health and mental health disorders, autoimmune diseases, endocrine conditions, gastrointestinal disorders, cardiovascular disease and cancer are found. As the healthy gut microbiome gives you improved general mental and physical health, so we must also nurture our gut microbiomes. Avoiding processed foods, high fat foods, foods high in refined sugars is very important. Also, many parts of modern life including high stress levels, too little sleep, eating a western diet, high in processed and sugary foods and taking antibiotics may affect your gut health very badly. What can be done is taking probiotics, prebiotics, fermented food, enough sleep, hydration and most importantly consuming garlic can help support a healthy gut microbiome. Lastly, incorporating stress reducing activities like meditation, deep breathing or spending time in nature into your daily routine can help support a thriving gut microbiome and enjoy better digestive health. Well, that's it for today's episode. We'll see you next time on Explained. Till then, stay care and stay healthy.